Yes, indeed. Yeah. Right. You've got a quick release at the top here, which allows you to obviously lower or do the, the 2 d the swing, when you get where you're going. Uh -huh. Its tension is irrelevant to where it is. There's a loose nut on the bottom inside, a nylock nut, which sets how tight that function is there. So if you want to adjust that up, you need to slide this column out, but you can't because the cables won't let you. So to get the column out, you need to undo... There's a little grub screw here, Slacken that. At the bottom of the grub screw is a little nylon ball, so it doesn't chew your thread up. Unscrew that, that will slacken off the whole... You've got an A headset, not a normal headset, just threaded to clamp the A headset. Under your front brake cable, drop the steering column down, and that will lift out far enough just to get at that nut on the bottom. But you shouldn't, shouldn't really have to do that. Brake levers and adjusters. These are little bits... Here, adjust the cable length for you in line. I designed those for Giant many years ago for their TCRs. Ah. They didn't really, well, they did, they did think it was a clever idea. I didn't think it was that clever an idea. But when they got them manufactured out, the person who actually manufactured them realised they were a clever idea and he took out the patent on them. So Ooh. Giant don't actually own the patent on those. Some little guys so they're on half the bikes in the world now, ah. thanks to me and this clever guy in China who didn't work for Giant. Ah. Uh, front wheel, take it off, just get the Allen key. You can see, obviously, being monobated, you shouldn't need to take it off. At least not for punctures. Front wheel, drum brake, axle stuff. Again, should be virtually zero maintenance. What make of um, hub brake is it, Mike? They're Sack SRAM. Mm -hmm. uh, curious, they're now manufactured in Swinefurt store ah. by... Sachs, as it was, who were owned by SRAM, and the person who sells them works for Sachs, but he sells them privately. He runs his own sub company because SRAM weren't interested in selling. These are single sided design, they're, they're wheelchair hubs, and they weren't interested in selling the rehab division stuff. So he sells the rehab division stuff with his wife from Germany, but he also works full time for Sachs. It, it's quite a complicated right. thing, but. but <laughs> Whatever. They're, they're, they're nice drums, they're designed to be single-sided, so mm. it really suits if the, the regular SRAM obviously doesn't have that styling on it. Back a bit, your pedals, you obviously know about your, your lovely MKS pedals that pull off, like a pneumatic fitting. I'm sure I'd invented them, but I'm still not sure they're actually that clever an idea for the... Uh, a to B spotted this, when you take them off they are a bit greasy and they could have had like, dog shit on them because you've yes. been walking around right. whatever. They, do you want dog shit covered pedals in your pocket, whatever, <laughs> it doesn't matter, whatever. Hence the little bag. Hence <laughs> the little bag, it can be a big bag. <laughs> your seat post again has got a, a QR, but people can't steal your seat post because if you pull it up, they don't do the time, it doesn't come out. Nah. You have to rotate, which is useful because this fat carbon tube obviously doesn't locate it. There's the aluminium top piece. There's a second aluminium ring down here, which if you pulled it through that and clamped it, it would snap off with your weight. But you turn it a bit, you find there's a groove and it comes out a bit, stops it again. So you've got a combination seat bus. This ah. little tiny pip on the end there, which is one right. little tiny screw, just stops it. It's again a nice sort of holistic solution because you needed it to angle out. You can sign it right down, but the moment you do, it strips all your nice lettering off the seat post. Mm. I have to warn you about this. I, I went to aluminium because I thought it would be better than the carbon one. Scratches off just the same. And the, the nice thing, their alley posts are actually slightly longer than their carbon ones. So you get a full 400 mil seat post. So you've got a reason to find it. My old man. Uh, back wheel again comes off the same. It's the same hub, but it doesn't have bearings in. Of course, the bearings are in the bike. So we remove the bearings and. On in the lamp. That has this aluminium with eye machine up inserted in, which has got a hexagon hole that I broached, and you've then got the hexagon drive on the end there. With any luck, it'll slide on in any one position. Some of them they get a bit of tolerance, and there's a best position, but I think this one sort of tends to go on in any direction it wants. And then you have to hold the cranks and rotate it back till you find the sort of. Oops, just that's it. No, that's it. <sighs> but again, these are things that there's no reason to do normally, other than maybe transport. Right, I don't know. Now, other side, you need to come to the other side, sir. Now then, if you need to adjust the rear brake, if this runs out of adjustment, it's quite simple. You start by removing the pedal, then your cover. Now, this 
is velcroed a bit there, then it rotates slowly round, sort of a bayonet fitting. those which locate behind it, a bit of foam with a seal. That's in your transmission. You have jockey wheel there. That's adjusted, that's on an eccentric. There's a screw in the back which clamps. You'll need to put an alley key in there, one in the back, slacken off, adjust it to check your chain tension. Or if you want to do what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do it fully, you'll need to actually remove this. Take the screw from the back, that drops down, you can pull it out so you've got a nice slack chain. Now, in the other arm screw, wheel here. That's that off. And three screws which refit these with Loctite because this is not something you need to do on a regular basis and they don't want to be crammed in tight but they clearly don't want to vibrate loose so a little spot of Loctite on each one is best. And this is the sort of job that you know, is basically done by a bike shop normally. Now then, you've got a spacer, that's your outer bearing, that goes there. You've then got, that is your Shimano cassette body with a single 13 tooth Brompton 332 sprocket sitting on it. Uh -huh. Now then, with this removed, the chain slack enough to pull the, gradually work the chain off the sprocket and pull that out. Because behind that is the brake arm, ah. right? <laughs> so if you need to adjust the cable in the brake arm, it's behind all this right here. Now, you know, what with having the inline adjuster, you shouldn't have to do this very often at all, like once every two or three years, maybe, sort of thing, you know, depending how much use it gets. But basically, there's no other way. The brake arm has to be inside there, and that's where the sprocket is. Now, how we solve this in mass production, I don't know, sort of thing, you know, maybe more accessible. But for the moment, it's, it's worked well enough on mine, so I'll put this back on. I'll, I'll put a drop of Loctite on these screws and seal it back up for you. This is only the soggy stuff, it doesn't stick for life, is it? Though? Seal and again this and then slowly feed it round and just make sure you tuck a little plant underneath slightly foodly. Graphics, of course. <laughs> and fit your pedal back. No. Okay. The chances of finding a bike shop that's capable of doing this, of course, are really <laughs> on, most unlikely. They're basically butchers with big hammers, whatever. Um, but that's it. I mean, let's say the, the drums obviously are going to be very reliable. Yeah, zero maintenance. Your headset is a hope, so nothing will ever go wrong with that. It's very expensive. And I say this little locking ring there is just a hand tightened job to keep the tension set up on it. Yeah, sure. Be strong. 
hojas. You better take it for a ride now and sort of hold it up, your hammer up, and film yourself riding along with it. <laughs> <laughs>